Hi, hope you're having a good day. When you've really caught a hold or seized what you're going to do with your life. Now, there are working decisions, obligatory decisions we have in careers. And then there are decisions we make based on vision. Vision is not some surreal, surreal uh, empty smoke life of uh, utopia. But it's a greater standard of discipline that we are seeking to embrace to function and survive and exist from a different realm of thought and imagination and creativity. Now, discipline is never void or absent of vision. Uh, if, it's, uh, if it's a vision that's absent of discipline, it's called a hobby, something that you're just doing uh, to devote a little time to a certain special interest. But vision is greater than special interest. It's where you want your daily function to be. Now you have to, to determine if you want your daily life to function from this or not, not a hobby or not some special interest that you do and then you get back to it. But vision means it's a higher realm of discipline, creativity, and imagination. And so when you've really seized, say the word seized. Yeah, when you've seized uh, this momentum of where you want to go, you want to make sure that you make the decisions that won't obligate you to a life you are trying to leave. Make decisions to get out of the common, not to devote you or obligate you to the common. Make decisions that will quickly evict you from the common. Now, you won't get to this thought by just making it up. Something has to speak to you. There has to be some realm of intolerableness that you experience in this world, in your world. You just don't decide for a vision because it sounds good. Uh, something has to catch you. Some supernatural thought or divine intervention has to catch you. You can't make it up. You just can't do it. If something has to call you to that dimension. You just don't make it up and go there and do it. Something has to invite you. Some dissatisfaction, some need to fix something, some need to exist another way. I don't know what your movements or epiphanies will be. I can't describe it. But when it catches you, you're going to make decisions that will evict you from obligation to the world you are trying to leave. But if you keep making decisions that will obligate you to the world you say you want to leave, then you'll never get out. So you have to determine what type of decisions to make, what type of relationships to have, what type of comforts to have and do without. No one can teach you that but the life that's inviting you. And if your invitation to a higher life isn't embraced or seized, you're going to find yourself coexisting between a higher life and a common life. You understand what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that you're constantly making decisions that will give you the right experience. But no one can teach you that but you.